So if you think about this, every hole having four bunkers on it, it's gonna be 72 plus bunkers for 18 holes. They can be a card wrecker, they can ruin a golfer's score. But with these three easy tips, I'm gonna show you how to get out of the bunker every single time. Hi guys, it's Rick Shields, PGA Golf Professional. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Instruction, reviews, and entertainment all coming your way. If you enjoy this video, smash that like and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know how these three tips help you get out of bunkers more often than ever before. And also, check me out on Instagram, at Rick Shields PGA. You wanna be checking me out on there to see what is coming up on the channel next. So to start things off with tip number one, it's important that we get our setup correct. So making sure that when we are in a bunker, we are allowing ourselves to get nice and low in the sand, shuffling the feet in to give you the most stable base possible. And also go wide in the stance. The wider you can go, the lower you can go down to the ground, making sure you can hit the sand every time. With that in mind, we also want to have our ball position in front of the center of our stance. So more like a, a long iron ball position. So the middle of the stance is about two or three inches behind the location of the ball, because this is gonna help us make the best contact to get the golf ball out of the bunker. Tip number two is all about loft. We need to make sure that we're giving the shot the best opportunity to get out of the bunker by presenting appropriate loft. So it's important you choose the correct weapon. I'll often go with either my 56 degree sand wedge or my 60 degree lob wedge to give myself the best chance to loft it out of this bunker and land on the green. And considering this shot's only short, I'm gonna go with my 60 degree. And that's one decision made about the loft that we're gonna go into the bunker. But the other big important factor in this is presenting the correct amount of loft, if not even more loft, as we actually hit the shot. So as we come in to hit a bunker shot, we wanna make sure that our loft is pointing up to the sky. We wanna present loft at contact to make sure the ball just floats out with the pillar of sand and lands on the green. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. The first way is by opening the club face. So rotating the golf club into a more open position before you actually take hold of the golf club and then hold it with that face open to the right. So important to add loft in a bunker. Now, if you've added a bit of loft, you may also want to aim a fraction to the left. You don't have to, but it does help some golfers if they're aiming that face to the right. And then as we come into the golf shot, as I mentioned, we want to make sure that loft is pointing up to the sky as we hit the shot, as opposed to trying to de-loft it and dig it down. Loft is so key, because it's gonna help us get the ball up and out the bunker. So the final tip, tip number three, the execution. How are we gonna play this shot? The first thing to know is we don't wanna hit the golf ball. We wanna hit the sand behind the golf ball with speed because we need the speed because as soon as we hit that sand, the club's gonna to start to slow down. So in kind of fluffy sand like this, aiming to hit behind the golf ball by about three inches. The more compact the sand, the closer to the golf ball you're gonna hit, but the less power you're gonna require. So for this particular shot, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna be hitting this further than the flag itself but aiming to hit behind the golf ball about three inches. Now my top tip, I actually look at the, at the point where I want the, ball, the club to hit the sand. I'm actually looking about three inches behind the golf ball as I hit the shot. So I want to present that loft, hit behind the golf ball with speed. As you can see, the ball popped out just gone past the flag but it is in a great spot and every time you're going to be able to get out the bunker with huge amounts of height and loads of confidence so you never leave the ball in the bunker again so guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed that video if you did smash that like button let me know in the comments below how you're getting out of bunkers bunkers shouldn't be feared if you go through those three simple steps you're going to get out of the bunker every single time and you're going to start enjoying it as well bunkers are actually predictable you know they're actually better sometimes than being in the long grass or ropey lies around the greens if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos moving forward thanks for watching guys it's a way of getting out the bunker every single time and why not share this video around 
to someone who struggles in bunkers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.